sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring, it, bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established and cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Um, so my relationship with God, and so I'm just gonna quickly backtrack. We've gone over our self-care, the love of other people, but I think one that is very much so misconcepted is the one of loving God. And I think a lot of times we overlook um, our relationship with God. Um, I think the relationship we have with God is one that when we need him, we call for him. But when we don't, we don't. And I think a lot of people either they pray to God when they are in a deep and dark place or they pray to God when they are in a great and happy place and there's never an in-between. Um, I think what most people struggle with, and I know I struggle with it too, and I try my hardest to be more disciplined about it, is being consistent about praying to God. Take five minutes out of your day every day just to be able to pray to God and ask for forgiveness and ask for help. And I know that when you do that, it helps you feel as if you have a person in your corner and that person is God. You feel his presence when you go about your day or you go about the next day. It's just about being able to do it consistently and being able to feel his presence when you really need it. So we have, what part of worship makes you feel most connected to God? How often do you show love to God? And in what ways can you worship God outside of church or prayer? Um, for what part of worship makes you feel most connected to God? Um, I would say music and the songs and the hymns. Um, music has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember and that's just I think what I can relate the best to um, when like there's sometimes language and like um, the readings and everything that I don't under like that I might not understand I definitely always relate and connect to um, the songs. I love that. So you like the hymns then? Or do you like more contemporary music? More contemporary, but not like, not like, like huge churches do, like the like, like rock kind of, not like that, like, um, like a guitar, but not like an organ, you know? Okay, like somewhere in between. <laughs> somewhere in between. I appreciate that. I like that. When they, when the question is, how often do you show love to God? I have a morning prayer and then the evening prayer, like when I wake up and then when I go to bed, I will say the prayer before I go to bed. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. But I feel like that's how I show love to God. But I also, kind of what Abby says, I always go for a walk in nature and that's also how I spread love to God just because I love nature so much and I believe He created it. Um, so. I guess just saying prayers and always trying to be present in the earth is part of that. So this is the midday prayer, which is from the New Zealand prayer book. 
and um, these are kind of the things that it talks about. The church lives in time and with time, and this truth is borne out by the observance of prayer even in the midst of a busy day. Prayer at midday provides a way to consecrate the day at its center and to realize the presence of God in the heart of life. The admonition of Jesus that we pray and not to be and not be weary is fulfilled in this way, and we identify with him on the cross, the center of his work. Midday prayer is one among many opportunities for God's people, laity, religious orders, or clergy to extend the range of daily prayer. Um, my brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips. That our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. To God our Father, thanks and praise. For this, the first and dawn of days, the day when thou creation spring, didst light and life from chaos bring. The day on which thy well-loved son, o'er death and hell, the triumph won. The day on which the spirit came, thy gift to us in wind and flame. All loud to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee. All God as is ever meet, to God the holy parslet, parsley, amen. Song to the Lord God. Lord God, you are above and beyond all things. Your nature is to love. You put us in the furnace of the world to learn to love you and love one another. Father, we sing to you in the furnace like the three Jewish children. The hope and the doom of the love of friends is eating up the marrow of our bones. Lord Christ, you are the house in whom we live, the house in which we share the cup of peace, the house of your body that was broken on the cross, the house you have built for us beyond the stars. Lord, Holy Spirit, beyond, within, above, beneath all things, you give us life. Blaze in our hearts, you who are love himself, till we shine like the noonday sun. Lord God, we are the little children, the feeble ones of the world. Carry us forever in your breasts, Lord God. Give us the power by love to be your holy ones. Collect for midday. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of this earth may be drawn to your uplifted love for your kingdom's sake. Amen. May the Creator bless us and keep us. May the beloved companion face us and have mercy upon us. May the eternal spirit's countenance be turned to us and give us peace. May the three in one bless us. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Amen.